going on everybody thanks for taking a minute to tune in while we talk about some cardio equipment in the gym there's a lot of stuff when you walk into a gym a lot of equipment and uh, people have gotten kind of creative when it comes to coming up with different variations of uh already established cardio equipment it feels like sometimes they're trying to i don't know uh maybe reinvent the wheel but ultimately uh, i want to kind of break down the, the three main ones we talk about a bike a treadmill and an elliptical so i think those are the three most common forms of cardio equipment that we'll see uh people using in the gym and you might kind of walk in and say all right you know what am i going to use today um the ellipticals especially have a lot of different variations it's it's quite common to see some that don't just go in the typical elliptical uh or ellipsis shape but they'll go up and down and side to side as well and um, even some steppers i think have some of the options to to do that as well but Ultimately, what I wanted to talk about was the ability to kind of change how much um, stress you're putting through your body using uh, these three different pieces of equipment. So uh, two of the things we'll look at is weight-bearing status and then also um, how much impact is going to be uh, placed on your body from each of these. So weight-bearing is basically just standing up. Uh, gravity pushes you top to bottom, so it pushes you into the ground, and then as a result, the ground will push back. Um, so, you know, that's the first thing to kind of keep in mind. And it's pretty intuitive if you think about the bicycle versus um, an elliptical or a treadmill. You know, in the bicycle, you're not weight bearing. You're not standing through your legs. Your legs are not being pushed directly into the floor. So you can actually modify how much you weigh um, because you're either pushing down into the pedals or in front of you, depending if it's upright or recumbent. And that's, you know, a different pose for a different time. But the, uh, the weight-bearing status changes um, the second you go to a standing-up position on the elliptical and then the treadmill. So those are the main differences between those three as far as the weight-bearing status. And then the impact is really how much stress is being placed on your body and your joints, how much force is being pushed back into you. And the bicycle is uh, low impact, um, the elliptical is uh, low to moderate impact, and the treadmill is more moderate to high impact depending on how you use it. So if we kind of break down the three of them, you have the bicycle, which is going to be more non-weight-bearing, non-impact. The elliptical is going to be weight-bearing, low-impact. And then the treadmill is going to be weight-bearing, high-impact. So, or moderate to high impact, I should say. So in terms of recovering from uh, an injury or even just kind of giving your body a little bit of a rest, yeah, um, go to a, a lower impact and a, a non-weight bearing option. I love using the bicycle to get warmed up, um, use it as a recovery day. So it's non impactful on the, the joints and the bones uh, and the connective tissue. Um, there will be some stress on the connective tissue, but using it as a recovery tool to get the heart, you know, heart rate up, uh, flush the, the all the lactic acid byproducts and um, garbage out of your system, and then get new blood to the area is a great way to do some um, non weight bearing recovery. So that's why I love using the uh, the treadmill. Uh, sorry, the uh, the bicycle, and then um, intermediary step between the bicycle and the treadmill is the elliptical. So you're going from uh, no impact then to high impact on the treadmill, and the elliptical is. Um, low impact weight bearing is kind of like that in between. So people who are coming back from bone stress injuries, um, or if you want to get some more weight bearing cardio in, you can really hit the legs too without pounding on the, uh, on the joints like the treadmill will. So those are really how we'd like to break it down. And again, I'm using very extreme terms. So I know I say pounding on the treadmill and yes, you can walk on the treadmill and that's minimal impact. Uh, but then you can jog on the treadmill, which, you know, increases the impact and then going into sprinting. Um, things like that. So uh, by no means are these, you know, black and white. There's always gray areas and overlap. Um, but ultimately what it comes down to is the bicycle is uh, non-weight bearing, no impact. The elliptical is weight bearing, low impact. And the treadmill is going to be weight bearing and moderate to high impact, depending on how you use it. So that's pretty much the breakdown that I wanted to go over. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, looks like Lincoln is kind of tired of me talking here. <laughs> um, probably because this is like take 19 for uh, for this video. But um, hope it was uh, helpful and beneficial. And as always, if you guys have questions, let us know. Uh, peace, happy, it's over. <laughs>